Hey, we go back again with another match review. Yes, it's the League One playoff final. And it's finished, as you can see on my new whiteboard. Blackpool 2, Lincoln 1. And what a game of football. What an advertisement for the sport. Football, brilliant playoff final. Both sets of fans allowed back into the ground. And Blackpool, well done Blackpool on promotion to the championship. And I want to say, unlucky on Lincoln. Lincoln, give it everything. Lincoln, give the all. Michael Appleton, the manager of Lincoln, done an absolutely fantastic job this season. Beating Sunderland in the, in the semi-final of the playoffs. And they deserve to go to the final. And they scored. For me, it had to be the quickest playoff final goal ever. I might be wrong. 47 seconds. 47 seconds. Johnson. Absolutely brilliant for Lincoln. Going down the right-hand side. Skinned his man. Got to the byline. Got the ball across. And there was Turton. Who was wrong-footed. And put the ball back in the, inside his own net. And Lincoln will 1-0 up. Inside the 44. 44. 47 seconds. Lincoln. And, and Mr. Appleton was going absolutely crazy. Over the moon. Lincoln fans were absolutely buzzing. Absolutely buzzing. Now today... In the Lincoln side, it was Palmer in goal. Edon, left back, Walsh, Edoma, Poole, Britkin the captain, McGrangles, Grant, Rogers, Hopper and Johnson. This Johnson is a great player, a young player, on loan. I forget where he's on loan from, but he has, he has a world at his feet. He's got loads of bags of talent and I do wish this young lad all the best in the future. And Blackpool side, Maxwell, Garbett left back, husband Ballard, I thought Ballard did particularly well today. Turton, Stuart Dougal, Anderson, Elliot Embleton, on loan from Sunderland. Elliot Embleton has had 21 games for Blackpool. He has he's played 21 games and he's, he's, he's scored two goals and he got his fourth assist today. So well done, Elliot Embleton, Mitchell and Jerry Yates up front. And we got Dougal. Dougal who scored a brace today. This lad Dougal, I have no idea where he's from, where he's born, what country he plays for or even how old he is. But he can score with his left foot and he can score with his right foot. This guy, I'd have him at Sunday next season all day long if he wanted to come or whatever it is, you know. But it's finished 2-1. And the game, like I said, Lincoln scored early days. Blackpool was shell-shocked. They were all over the place. It was all Lincoln for the first 15 minutes and well done, Lincoln. You know, they had Blackpool on the ropes. Blackpool just didn't know, you know... What, what day it was, whether we're coming or going. And for me, I thought, wow, I never expected this. I just did not expect this at all. But as the game went on, Blackpool started to get, you know, control of the game, started to get the ball more, started to do more. You know, Stewart got more in the box, had more opportunities. Anderson, Elliot Embleton, Yates was a lone figure. I mean, like I said before, Blackpool went 4-2-3-1, that, that Lee Johnson formation, or 4-2-2, what Lee Johnson does, but it was 4-2-3-1, lone figure Yates up front, and Lincoln, 4-3-3. Now, I think it was, who was it, who was it, I think it was, I think it was Grant. Grant had the ball in the centre of his own, just inside his own half, and he dawdled on the ball, and Yates robbed him of the ball, and Yates drove forward, three men surrounded Yates, he passed the ball out, and it ricocheted to Embleton. Embleton got the ball, but then three men dived in on Embleton. Three Lincoln defenders did a good job. It ricocheted. It bounced off Embleton's arm. Then Embleton managed. He put, tried to drag his arm out the way, but he managed to get the ball through to Dougal. And Dougal put one touch from his right foot, placed on his left foot, and slotted the ball in between. Nutmeg won their defenses. defenders straight past you know, Palmer just didn't get down there. He couldn't get the ball. And it went past him into the back of the goal. A brilliant finish from Dougal. Well done, Dougal. He put them ones a peach. And Blackpool fans went absolutely mental. And what a game of football! I did put a bet on, on both teams to score and Blackpool to win. So I was rooting for Blackpool a little bit. Even though, you know, I'm, I'm unbiased. But I wanted Blackpool to do well for me. Coupon bet, only bet of the day. 4-1. to one. Had a nice £10 on. But I did cash out early and win £40. But in the day, I'm over the moon with a £30 profit. It pays me whiteboard. And me new England top. Because I will be doing live streams for the England match. England matches in the Euros. And second half came out. And Blackpool started to dominate, started to push forward. Lincoln did look a bit... I don't know if Lincoln went into the shells a little bit. You know, the young Lincoln side. I think average of 22, 23. 
Blackpool started to dominate. Elliot Embleton played well in midfield. I thought Stewart did really well with Mitchell. Anderson on the right, on left hand side, did really well. Garbutt, you know, Garbutt, it was it was okay. I mean, we should have gotten Garbutt at Sunderland. Did really well. And then Lincoln, oh, Lincoln was just for me was sitting back too much and Blackpool on the offensive all the time, and the ball was sprayed from a corner from Embleton came across in the box, back to Embleton. Embleton got the ball into the box again, but then it went out to, I forget who, which player got back into the box, but it fell. It might have been the Yates again who put the ball out and it came to Dougal again. Scored with his left foot on the first occasion, second time. He put it on his right foot, slotted the ball in the same corner. Palmer couldn't get down there again. What a goal, Dougal set the Blackpool fans absolutely buzzing the tangerine army went absolutely crazy they were 2-1 up i was happy at the moment there's maxwell the captain lifting the trophy for blackpool well done blackpool back in the championship look at mitchell going absolutely mental then players are going there's elliot embleton over the moon they over look at the fans i know what it feels like to be a fan who's lost a playoff final so i do you know charismations charismations Commiserations to the Lincoln fans, the Lincoln fans who are there now going home, long journey home, well, about 140 miles back to Lincoln, I'm sure, I thought it was further than that. And there's Jerry Yates drinking the champagne, going absolutely ballistic. But like I said, it was 2-1 to Blackpool, but then there was a, a controversial moment, controversial moment, it was, it was garbage. Johnson doing really good work on the right hand side, got the ball down to the byline, Garbutt comes in, he takes, I thought he did a brilliant challenge, he got the ball off Johnson for, for a corner ball, but in replays it shows you he fouled his man, it should have been either a free kick or a penalty to Lincoln, and the referee didn't see it, the lines person didn't see it, it was hard lines because that would have been a good opportunity, it may have been just outside the penalty box for Lincoln, but that's the way it goes with League One officials, the referee did have a canny game. And then Blackpool saw the game out. Palmer came up late on. One or two chances. Tried to everybody in the box apart from Britkin who played in goal, who played in centre black and played defensive midfield because Palmer was going up front. Everybody pounding forward. And late on there was one good opportunity for Lincoln and he skied over the top. So it's finished 2-1 to Blackpool. Like I said, there's Garbutt there. Well done, Blackpool. Promoted to the championship. And we'll see Lincoln again next season with Appleton, who's had a fantastic job as a manager, as manager of Lincoln. He's been in charge 89 games, he's won 30 years, drawn 21, and now lost 30. Or should we say, he's been in charge 90 games now, and now lost 31. So, again, well done Blackpool fans for joining the live stream. Well done Lincoln fans for joining the live stream. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Please take care. God bless me. God go with you. Man of the match. Well, what can I say? It's Dougal. And whenever I think of the name Dougal, it reminds me of Father Ted. Father Ted. What an absolute legend. What an absolute comedy show. God rest his soul. He was an absolute genius comedian. And Dougal just reminds me of Dougal. Dougal is my man of the match to Dougal. Man of the match to Dougal. Scored a brace. And, you know, what can I say? Oh, there you go. Thrown over the champagne, over the top of Critchley's head. Critchley's first managerial, first managerial job, only 42 years of age. The guy's a star. The guy could be anything as a manager, and he's done brilliant today. So they have been promoted to the championship. Take care. God bless me. God go with you. And don't forget, I will be doing the Euros and a couple of videos doing it to do with Sunderland. And I will let you know who won. The, the, the sort of the score prediction table of the season during the week. See you later. Thanks again.